number 5, we have the Asus G11DF. The Asus G11DF packs an AMD Ryzen 5 CPU with an NVIDIA GTX 1060 and other powerful components for delivering a mid-range gaming performance without spending over a thousand bucks. From a design perspective, the Asus G11DF has two lighting panels on the front, one positioned against the front edge of the case and one on the side. If you see it as a whole, it does indeed look futuristic. Unfortunately, my remark is that this case has only two customizable LED strips in the front from which one of them can shine in, a, in any color while the other one can only shine in a red color, so I expected it more in that part. There are plenty of ports which are always welcome from any gamer, so at the front there are two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.1 ports, a DVD rewritable drive, an SD card reader and a headphone with mic jacks positioned at the top of the PC. At the back, there are two more USB 2.0 ports, four USB 3.1 ports, a USB Type-C port, and an internet jack. I want to mention that this case comes with a mouse and keyboard combo, and they are both responsive and accurate so your gaming experience will be enhanced for sure. Now, let's talk about the performance. Thanks to the included hardware, which includes an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 with 6GB, a 256GB SSD and the AMD Ryzen 5, which can be overclocked up to 3.4GHz, you can play all of the current and future games at 1080p on ultra settings and receive stable 60fps or get 30-45fps while playing at 1440 with ultra settings. You can also take an advantage of the Asus Aegis utility, which includes several features that will allow you to free up the system resources, record, share your gameplay and much more. Overall, you should take the Asus G11DF into consideration due to its fair price and the included hardware, which is going to increase your gaming experience, but also equip you with multitasking capabilities for casual work or web surfing. Moving on, at number 4 we have the MSI Trident 3 Arctic. The MSI Trident 3 Arctic is a compact and extremely powerful gaming desktop that is capable of displaying an ultra 4K resolution and offer you a true VR experience. From a design perspective, the MSI Trident 3 looks like a PlayStation 4 with its flat top and bottom angled edges, while the included plastic base will let you place the unit vertically and preserve as much space as possible. At the upper left corner, there is a power button and an RGB LED accent that can be controlled by a software for enhancing your gaming ambient. At the front, there is a headphone and mic jack, a USB 3.1C port, two USB A 3.1 ports, and an HDMI for connecting to a VR. At the rear, there are two display ports, one USB 3.1, four USB 2.0, three HDMI, and one VR link ports. On the top, there is a silver GPU ventilation that looks aesthetically really good, so in my opinion, MSI has produced a really good looking machine overall. Now, let's talk about the features. The Trident 3 Arctic includes an impressive hardware such as a GTX 1080 8GB GPU, 16GB of DDR4 RAM which can be further expanded to 32GB, it also has a hard disk of 1TB, a 256GB SSD and an i7 quad core processor. What I love the most about this machine is its quiet performance, so even if you're playing, streaming or doing any other thing, the fan noise is almost inaudible, so you can literally play games comfortably and without any distractions. You can also take an advantage of the MSI Mystic Light Colors for customizing the desktop by choosing a large variety of color palettes and LED effects that will improve your visual and gaming experience. To conclude, if you want to have a compact desktop that is VR ready and has powerful hardware, then the Arctic is definitely worth considering. Next up, at number 3 we have the Lenovo Idea Center Y710. Lenovo has succeeded in crafting an aggressively looking cube that can perfectly handle 4K gaming. From a design perspective, the Y710 features a red and black color seam with a Y-shaped red light strip that makes it look like a knight from hell that is ready for combat. At the front of the case, there is a 3.5mm headphone out and mic jack and two USB 3.0 ports that are nicely positioned for letting you connect really quickly. Around the back, there is a set of 5 jacks, gigabit internet, a PS2 port, two USB 3.0 ports, four USB 2.0 ports and an embedded Xbox dongle. Lenovo plays really smart with making the sides of the case removable, so you can see or upgrade the components without losing too much time. 
This desktop comes with a wired full-size keyboard and a wired mouse, which don't really look as gaming peripherals, but still, they do their job perfectly fine. Now, let's talk about the performance. This cube is powered by a 65W CPU cooler and 450W power supply, and that is more than enough considering the hardware for which we will talk right now. The Y710 uses Intel Core i7 processor, has 16GB of DDR4 RAM, 128GB of SSD, it has a 1TB hard drive, and the most important part, the NVIDIA GTX 1080 with 8GB that will let you play many new, existing or upcoming games. The gaming experience is really cool here, since you can play Tomb Raider with 55fps at 1080p with everything masked out, the Shadow of Mordor at around 158fps on full HD resolution, and Rainbow Six Siege with around 120fps running on ultra settings. You can also take an advantage of the Lenovo Nerve Center that will let you switch the LED lights or even select a network priority mode for having a better connection speed and enjoy a lag-free gameplay. Overall, you should take the Y710 into serious consideration because of its design and the included hardware that will help you feel a real 4K gaming experience and elevate your gaming experience to a whole new level. Next up, at number 2, we have the Alienware Aurora R7. The Alienware Aurora R7 is surely one of the best options in the market if you're looking for a desktop that is impressively quiet and powerful enough to deliver you a gaming experience like you've never tasted before. From a design perspective, the R7 features vented middle panels with ergonomic angles and silver side panels with three LED strips that can be customized as you'd like. At the front, there are headphone and mic jacks and three USB 3.1 ports, while at the back, there are four USB 3.1 ports, a USB C port, and six USB 2.0 ports. Now, let's talk about the features. The Aurora R7 is supported by a 6 core Intel i7 processor that can be boosted up to 4.6 GHz using the Turbo Boost technology. In addition, the included 16 GB of DDR4 memory can be expanded up to 32 GB. It also has a 256 GB SSD and a GTX 1070 with 8 GB, which will help you achieve amazing multitasking and gaming results. The R7 handles 4K and VR really well so you can taste the given benefits and have a jaw-dropping gaming experience. You can play Hitman on max settings at 1080p with around 97fps, Rise of the Tomb Raider max at 1080 with around 85fps and more. You can get close to 60fps on many new, current or upcoming games, which is unbelievably good, since there is only one graphics card on this PC. You can also use the Alienware Command Center to take an advantage of the included features for overclocking, customizing the gaming performance, customizing the lightning effects, and much more. To conclude, the R7 is a must-have, so you should definitely take it into consideration if you're looking for a VR-ready desktop that is also capable of delivering a real 4K gaming experience. To finish up our list, at number 1 we have the Corsair One Pro. The Corsair One Pro is a compact, good-looking and a really mighty gaming station that is whisper quiet for letting you have a gaming marathon without getting distracted by any noise. From a design perspective, the One Pro features an aircraft-grade aluminum chassis that makes it really durable, while on the other side, it looks really modern thanks to the included ambient lightning details. Now, let's talk about the performance. The One Pro is powered by a 400W SFX 80 power supply while the GTX 1080 GPU and the i7 CPU are liquid-cooled by the two 240mm radiators. There is also one magnetic levitation fan which assists in the cooling process. The other hardware components include a 480GB SSD, DRAM of 32GB DDR4 and they will equip you with tremendous multitasking and gaming capabilities. Another great thing about this desktop is that it is specially designed to deliver you a true VR and 4K gaming experience but also let you upgrade it anytime you want to meet your gaming criteria. Gaming gets a whole new perception with this gaming desktop, and I will tell you why. Tomb Raider on Ultra settings in 4K gets an average of 49 FPS or around 131 in 1080p with everything set on Ultra. During your gameplay, you won't deal with any distraction noise, which often decreases the gaming experience, so if you have your headset on, imagine how realistically your games will be delivered. Even if you're having plenty of tabs and applications running at the same time, or even if you're streaming while you're playing, the noise will be really undetectable, which is great. 
Overall, I think that this is the best gaming PC out there right now for the price, because it has a ton of features and really powerful hardware, so it's definitely worth it. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you like this video. If you wanna find out the prices and more information about this game in desktops, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below. And if you have any questions related to them, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.